Hello folks and welcome to a video on the Necropolis once again. They made an update, they did a new patch and they did some changes. Now mainly the crafting is now actually very good and you can make a lot of crazy good items. There has been even like a whole crafting website, Craft of Exile, those amazing guys over there made the whole, the whole shenanigans with the graves, with the chances, with everything. It's so... So basically what changed? Now when you go to Mr. Undertaker... And when you visit the morgue, when you want to see what's in the morgue, I will just do this as a, as an example. You can actually now um, click the click the itemized corpse, and you can get it into a coffin. You can also do that in a in a game, in a game in a map. You can also do that in a map. Now, then, next thing is when you search through the morgue and when you place your corpses inside you can control f and then i suggest let's say you type in fire control a control c control v then you type fire you place the corpse then it brings you here again then you control f control v and it brings it up faster then they're sorted in their own in their own like fire is sorted with fire physical with fire that's awesome but now you can actually craft better items which is great when it comes to crafting However, how do we obtain these items? Now, people from the stream are going to kill me actually over this, which is you have to actually play a map, right? If we sit down and we play a map, we open a map from map device, and then we see what do we have. These modifiers that have been on the map device before now have better chance to be devoted, which are the yellow ones, the special ones. They have... Um, smaller worse modifiers which was before as an example 1200 or something percent crit chance or crit multi for monsters now it's smaller lower all flames drop higher i've been using all flames quite often you can now close this before even opening the map but when you click it the inventory is locked until map is activated. You cannot add it, so you can freely go away if you if you want. You can AFK. That's another great change. So as I won't play it now, I will basically play it when I wake up and, and, and stuff. So you can do that. All flames are now way better even. You can get better mods. You can get more items, more things overall improvements are great and as the title of the video says the crafting makes sense now what is another thing that can happen i don't know if this is going to if i click oh there we go uh it can also give you a number of increased chance to find corpses and all flame embers in regards to these even though you have less pack size modifier tier look at this 144 boom 144 okay that's a bug <laughs> figured out the bug Never mind, that's a bug. So they give you different different percentages. Oh, there we go, 192 and uh, 144. 144, 192. Okay, that was an interesting bug that I just discovered. So you have higher chance to get corpses the higher the tier of the modifiers that you put in. And then you can get in the map and you can click itemize corpse immediately and then you get it, plop, in your inventory. Which is a great thing whatsoever now my recommendation would be play through the game however you however you'd like and grab these corpses get to the morgue if you don't want to interact with the game mechanic it's free now to like sell or destroy these things you can also destroy them by control clicking them from the from the morgue which basically burns them so control click and it will destroy them too which is a great qol now, in regards to everything else that has been happening in the game, overall, this patch has improved a lot of performance issues, a lot of other troubling things. Now, everything has been dropping a little bit more in regards to maps and things. People have been reporting that. I personally haven't found too many differences when it comes to when it comes to that but also i now have four void stones and i'm basically farming the content i usually get one to two tier 16 maps from the from the actual tier 16s themselves so i can't say anything about it because i skew the 
the needle in a, in a different way. But overall, very, very good updates. This makes the league actually an 8.5 up to 9 out of 10. And these days, I will definitely be trying to craft a bow for physical bleed that I'm playing. And that's going to require a lot of actual farming, itemizing corpses, doing things, enjoying the game. Overall, I've been having a blast today when it comes to the patch and when it comes to the league. And hopefully it's going to be even, even better. But we'll see what the future holds. So far, great change, GGG. Good job on listening to people. And uh, well done. Actually, well done. So the crafting makes sense now. Happy crafting. Check out Craft of Exile for, for more crafting. This is not sponsored in any way, shape, or form. I just love what those guys those guys do for crafting as I use them to, to teach people how to do crafts and whatnot. But otherwise, phenomenal work. I will see you in the next video. If you like this one, give it a like. This is just a short, short little update with, with a little funny thumbnail. Otherwise, I'll see you on the stream. Have a good one and see you then.